Ian, this is Kevin from Metal Shop here with the Almighty Carry King of Slayer. What's up? How's it going, man? Killer. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, so we wanted to ask you, uh, now on your off time, you're a carpet python breeder, correct? Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got a huge passion for this, uh, your company, uh, Psychotic Exotics. Uh, how'd you get into snake breeding, and um, you know, how much time are you able to put into it? On how the many snakes do you own? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Five, six hundred? Damn. But, like last year, I took on a full-time employee because we started touring a lot more. Um, and I last year, I had over 300 babies. This year, I have over 200. So, um, I got to write a record, so I had to take an employee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Sweet. Uh, so, one question we had our intern actually was wondering this, and we agreed. Like, you have a very distinct guitar soloing style. Every time you hear a Slayer solo, you know it's a Carrie King solo. What's your, like, approach, personally, to a guitar solo? <laughs> Make it not shitty. <laughs> <laughs> um trying to make them different you know when you got for me when you got such a fast rhythm behind you generally um it's really easy to make them sound alike and mm -hmm. so i go out of my way to make them not sound alike and i try to keep the whammy out of it till i'm out of ideas okay because <laughs> it's really easy to rely on a whammy whammy bar and a wah makes everything sound good so yeah um just leave that out till i'm out of ideas and then kind of rely on it cool word now, Slayer, you guys are master the masters of creating an evil, badass-sounding metal song. What are some of the keys to making a metal song into an evil, just masterpiece? I don't know. Um, me being a major songwriter and me being a guitar player, it starts with a guitar. Um, and the one we finished first so far, it's got a heavy-ass intro. It's super awesome, and the song shifts gears, and it's Slayer speed. But Badass. You know, it's just... Getting a riff that, as a guitar player, I think is cool. As a metal fan, I think is cool. And as being in Slayer, I think is cool. So it's quite a process. Fair enough. So you just mentioned that you have a new song. Uh, when can we expect new material by Slayer? I don't know, man. Um, we got that one done. We got a second one done. Vocals and leads are just not mixed. I think it's kind of in limbo because American doesn't have a distributor. Mm -hmm. Or if they do, they haven't told anybody they do yet. Okay. So, um... The record industry in 2012. Yeah, same as it's always been. So those two are done. We got a couple other ones done that have no vocals or leads. We got a few more demos, but there's going to be enough material to where after Mayhem we can just go in and bust it all out and do a record, which I would rather do than waste a couple songs on an EP because by the time they came out, Mayhem's going to be over anyway. That's it's true. true. Fair enough. All right, so if we were to hit play on your iPod or your CD player or whatever, what would we hear? What are you listening to right now? Well... Carrie King rotation. Well, the funny thing is, the last one that played my iPod was my Pyro guy because he didn't know Strike of the Beast when we played that in San Fran. Okay, all right. <laughs> but me, what would I have been listening to? I might have been listening to Strike of the Beast too. Make sure I learned it. <laughs> um, what's been going on in there lately? I went through a big Merciful Fate kick when I was in Europe recently. Um, that makes sense. Seems like I go to Europe and I play old Sabbath a lot too. Nice. Um, what else? Those two mainly. Um, priest, I always play Priest. Cool. That's three good bands. What is one album that you own, is in your record collection, CD collection, that might kind of shock or surprise Slayer fans? South Park Christmas Tunes. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Hanky. Mr. Hanky. Mr. Hanky's definitely on it. Uh, now, obviously, Slayer fans are super dedicated. Uh, we've seen it for years and years. Uh, what's the one of the gnarliest Slayer markings or tattoos you've ever seen? Some dude asked me in Spain years ago, I like think in the 90s. Yeah, I was going down the line, signing stuff. I pretty, probably had my own Sharpie, I usually do. Mm -hmm. and this guy, you know, it was in Spain, so he didn't speak English, and he was insistent on me using his. So I'm like, all right, I'll use your pen. And he hands me a scalpel, and he wants me to put Slayer in it. Damn! Did you do it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that. a That's whole bad recipe for anything that could go wrong. I hope it gets infected with Kerry King's germs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So uh, now that your guys are about to play, coming up in a little bit, what are some pre-show Slayer rituals, if any? Hour prior, I stretch my neck and my back. And then I warm up till half hour time. I stretch my neck and my back again, put my stage gear on, play, and headbang. So everything's working on the same level. Yep. <laughs> that's it. All right. In a nutshell. Got to prevent those bangovers, right? 
Well, you know, that was funny. We came back from Europe and we had a week off. And to prevent the bang over, I actually put a show on in my bedroom, you know, just to keep <laughs> all the parts working. And I still sore shit after the San Bernardino show. So it's just a one man Slayer show? No. No, you know, Gary does his thing. Tom, you know, he doesn't bang anymore, but he's he's singing better than he has historically. Nice. So, um, you know, it's it's definitely all guns blazing just yeah. differently than they blazed before. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, so if you could sum up 30 years of Slayer brutality into one word, what do you think it would be? Chaos. <laughs> I like that. Very succinct. All right, so this is a question that we ask uh, pretty much all the musicians that we talk to when we figured Kerry King would be a fucking awesome person to ask this question to. If you could name a scar on your body, tell us a story of how you got it. Or show us if you can. I don't have any scars, man. I never fuck myself up. <laughs> the only scar I have is probably, I don't even remember which eyebrow it's on. It's like some one right here. I was five years old, okay. sliding across my parents' carpet, which I wasn't supposed to do, and I banged my head into a fucking rocking chair, and I had to go get stitches. That's go. all I got. Well, All the rest are, plays hard, are man. planned scars. There you there go. You go. Well, five-year-old Carrie King getting brutal at a young age. Yeah, who would have known? Right? Awesome. So, Carrie, thanks again for talking to us, man. Cheers, man. Good luck on the rest of Rockstar Mayhem Festival. Slayer. <laughs>